Hi, welcome back to the second video showing you how to use the email reporting widget. So we have our, our project published and we copied the sendmail PHP file to our project directory. The uh, next step is to upload these to our web server. So I'm going to use a program called FileZilla, which is an FTP program, um, free open source I think as well, um, to, to do that. So I connected to my server, I created a directory called email test, and I'm just going to drop the files into that server location. And it's uploading. And I'm going to copy the URL and open up. Let's see. Oh, I'm just going to open a new one. There we go. And I'll just need to edit the URL just a bit. There we go. So we're going to start the course now. And as you can see that the widget doesn't show up on the first page. Uh, it's just in the develop mo developer mode you will actually see that email reporting widget uh, logo. So we're gonna answer our questions. Let's see if we can get it right. Most of it we can, I guess. Yeah, I can't remember <laughs> what I put as correct answer here, so we'll just type something. A, B, C. Let's see. There we go. And the user has now passed the quiz. Um, as you can see, there's no there's no indication of the project actually sending an email. So this happens in the background. Um, so that's a pretty neat thing. Uh, it also means that the user can't edit the email. Uh, in, in earlier versions of Captivate you could use, uh, well, call it email reporting or not, but essentially it opened an email in your in your browser, uh, provided that you actually had an email client installed and wasn't a webmail user. Um, but the user could just edit whatever they wanted uh, and then send it on. So that doesn't makes make a lot of sense. So now we should have received the email, so I'm just going to switch to my email client here and check it out. And you can see that there is an email from support at cbguru.com with our subject title. And if we open it, you would have student name, which we didn't enter in the variable, so that will be undefined. Uh, you have a project name, which again we didn't enter. Um, we can do that in Capture Project. You have a date, you have the time. Uh, when when I completed the course and you have the duration of the time that the user spent in the course you would see the quiz score in percent the number of points scored number of points available and you would see points needed for pass number of quiz attempts quiz questions correct answers and total number of unanswered questions which would be skipped questions essentially then you'll have all the custom variables. So from 1 to 30, we didn't put anything in them, so they are coming back as undefined. And finally, you have quiz and interaction data. So you would see the interaction ID, you would see the question text, what type of interaction it is, the date, the time that the question was answered, and the latency for this question. So the latency is from the moment that the user saw the question, from the moment the slide with the question was presented to the user until they cl uh, clicked the submit button. So on the first question I actually spent 11 seconds before I, I clicked the submit button. You would see if I skipped the question, if I answered it correctly, the user's answer, correct answer, number of tries for the question, and points for the question. And this goes for all of them, uh, all of the question types. If we go down, this one is the fill-in. You could see the user's answer is blank, the correct answer was blank. If we go to the short answer, it's called long fill-in and capture it. I wrote something blah blah blah, and the correct answer was actually correct. So I did not answer this question correctly. If we go to matching, you would see my sequence, 0A, 1B, 2C. The correct sequence is 0A, 1B, 2C, so I answer correctly. The hotspot, um, 
there's no real correct or false answer that Capsulate can actually show you. So here you'll need to rely on the fact that the question answered correctly is set to true. And again, you have the sequence. Did we put the sequence correct? We did. So this is the data you'll get from the email reporting widget. Um, and essentially, that's it in a nutshell. I hope um, you'll find it useful. Bye-bye.